I was walking out to the car. I just tripped and fell, and I hit the ground. I knew that something was not right. The first thing was getting her to the doctor when she first fell, because she grew up breaking all the time, so we know she's hurt. Nothing on my x-ray came back weird at all, so I said that I probably just sprayed my ankle and give it two weeks. By the time that two weeks was over, the pain just kept getting worse. It was not getting better at all. It would get really like purple and red and swollen. He sent me to an orthopedic doctor. So he explained a little bit about CRPS to me and that most of the symptoms that I had were the same thing as CRPS. So there's like a miscommunication between my brain and my foot. My brain sending signals that my foot is in pain and that something's not right when really there's nothing technically wrong with my foot. It's just the nerves are disrupted. So he explained that to me a little bit and said, all right, now I'll send you to see a pain management doctor. And the longer it went on, I was like, okay, this is like never gonna be normal again because now my whole entire life is different. When all this happened, I had to take a medical leave of absence from school, which they only offered like a six month leave. So eventually at the end of that six months, I did have to drop out of cosmetology school. I wasn't able to go out and do anything. I was always at home in my bed. So that took a big toll on my mental health. The worst that I felt mentally, I feel like the worst that I felt physically. It was very frustrating, and I voice my frustration to these doctors, and I get frustrated with them because I just want her better. You know, you have your 20-year-old daughter who can't walk. She's on crutches, and she can't get her own food, and she was in pain. It wasn't just she couldn't walk, she was in pain. She couldn't even shower without the water, like, hurting her. And when your kids hurt, it's, it's frustrating, it's heartbreaking, and you just want to get them better. So we went back to the orthopedic doctor in Laporte, and said, hey, this pain management doctor is just not working. And he sent us to Dr. Khan here in Laporte. And from the minute we met him, he has been wonderful. When he suggested here, we actually were kind of a little bit hopeful because he was so wonderful. And we walked in here, and from the second we walked in, they were fabulous, every single one of them. They're all great. Nikki and Jane are who I've worked with the most. With both of them, you can tell that they care. You know, they ask how I've been and what I've been doing, and they want to know the answer. Like, they're just as excited that I can get up and walk and do all this stuff as I am. The way they work with her, they listen to what she can do, what she can't do. They push her to make her go beyond what she, you know, thinks she can do because they know she can. They would start me out just like uh, walking up and down the building. Now she has me like backward walk or like sideways walk. Nikki loves to make little obstacles for me to go through. I think it's been good for her physically and mentally. And me too because <laughs> watching her walk, you know, it brings tears to my eyes. Watching them work with her and getting her to walk again. And we wouldn't have been able to do it without coming here if we would have stayed where we were she would not be where she's at. Last year, I, I could barely get out of bed, and I barely went out to even grocery shop was such a chore. Like, we'd get halfway through the store, and I'd be like, okay, well, now I need to sit and rest for an hour. Now I'm able to go to work and work five hours when before I couldn't even make it an hour through the grocery store. So I'm very thankful to this place for what they've done with me, and I know that without their help this past year, I would not be anywhere near where I am right now, to know that even my doctors and people taking care of me are proud of me and see what I've done. Sometimes it's hard for me to even see that. I think the odds of finding another place that cared this much are probably pretty low, so I'm very thankful to them. I mean, they got me walking again. My whole life was changed around, and they've helped me turn it at least 180 degrees back in the right direction, so I'm so thankful to them. Anybody who's looking for therapy, this is the place to be. I mean, if you want help, that's kind, friendly, that cares like wholeheartedly, this is the place to be. I did it, you can too.